All right, uh, our next talk is titled OVS DPDK Performance Benchmark and Analysis with Multi-VMs. Uh, and our uh, first speaker is uh, Li Yao from Intel. Thank you. Hello, everyone. This is Li from Intel. Today, I will talk about uh, how last level cache impacts the uh, uh, OVS DPK performance when we m have multi-VMs. Uh, so, uh, Okay, so uh, as we know that when we have multiple VMs, uh, uh, we must do memory copy between uh, hosts and the VMs. So when we, uh, the memory copy efficiency for the vehicles in queue and the DQ operation is very important for the uh, memory copy efficiency. Uh, that we think that the uh, last location miss ratio is very important for memory copy, and we think the following two parts will impact the performance. The first is DDIO, and the second is the noise neighbor. So. I think uh, DDIO is uh, Intel Data Direct I/O technology is very familiar for all of us. Uh, it includes two operations, and uh, it can allow uh, uh, NIC. When OVS receives packs from NIC, we can put it uh, the packet into last level cache uh, instead of memory. It will uh, it will save cycles when we do memory copy. There are two operations when we have DDIO. One is write uh, update, and one is write allocate. Right. Uh, update it means that when the memory is already in cache, cache we can uh, near can write packets to cache directly. Uh, another operation is write update, uh, write allocate. This means that when the memory address we want DMA is not in the cache line, so we uh, the DDIO can do this uh, force a al cache allocation for this um, DMA write. But one thing you need to aware that the, in some worst case. The uh, DDL write allocate operation can't occupy all the last of cache size. Uh, normally, it's about time percentage of the all the last of cache on this socket. So uh, let's uh, calculate the budget. Take uh, this uh, Intel 8180 CPU as per, uh, example. We have total size uh, 38.5 megabyte last of cache. If uh, the DDL write allocation budget is time percentage. Yes, about 3.85 megabyte high, uh, byte. So if all the pack size is uh, 1518 byte, let's cal calculate how much, what's the maximum packets we can buffer in uh, last cache with this DDIO. It's about uh, 2600. So uh, by default, uh, the XD number per queue for OVS is set to 2048. It's, su uh, it's suitable for we only have one queue, but how about we have two queue or on a four queue system? So the left diagram shows that uh, when we have pack size, when we have pack size at 64 bytes on our OBS DPK with four core four queue system, we can see that after we increase the uh, discrepant number, the performance always keeps flat, and the last of cache miss ratio is almost zero. But how about when we have pack size uh, 15, 18 bytes? We can see that after we increase the discrete number from 1 to 8 to increase to 2K, the default obvious uh, XD number per queue, we can see that the last of cache miss ratio has increased from lower than 10 to more than 40 percentage. And the total uh, performance, the blue bar, shows that we met a performance drop of uh, 15 percentage. So, this, uh, this, uh, so according to this result, we need to think of uh, compromise the jitter to rate and with the throughput, we know that we can't reduce the IXC number to a very small uh, number because it will uh, impact our jitter tolerance when we have this jitter, but we also can't increase it to a very large number, especially when we mark queue because it will oversize our DDL capacity and in, uh, impact the total system throughput. The, the second part. The second part we think that will impact the last level cache miss ratio is the noise neighbor. Always we will have a workload in the VM and all the core on, a, the, on the same socket will share, share all the last level cache. If the VM has very frequent read write operations, it will occupy the last level cache bandwidth and occupy the OBS core's last level cache miss ratio. So in this case, we simulate a 32 VM system with a OBS 4Q4 core system. We can see that the Blue bar is the original performance, and the red bar is the performance after we have several noise neighbor. 
So we can see that for uh, 64 byte, the performance is still stable. And uh, but uh, for the uh, MX and uh, 15, 18 byte, we have a bigger performance drop. Uh, how we can uh, reduce the performance impact? We think that Intel uh, uh, cache allocation technology can help this. Uh, we can use uh, this cache allocation uh, technology, CAT, to allocate part of the loss of cache to the OBS core to guarantee the performance. For example, if we by on this process of byte fault, we have 20 uh, last level cache ways. It's shared by OVS core and the VM cores, but if we dedicate parts, for example, 15 cache ways to the OVS core, and we can see that the performance uh, job has been reduced a lot to 1.4 uh, MX packs, I think it's about uh, 1.3 percentage. So it's a huge improvement. So uh, do we need to uh, allocate all the cache ways to a VSPK? Uh, the answer is not. It's not uh, reasonable and necessary. Uh, if we allocate all the cache ways to a VSPK uh, cores, the VM performance will be impacted. And uh, on this diagram is a performance trend with different cache ways we dedicate to, to a VSPK core. We can see that after we add about seven or eight cache ways, the performance almost keep flat, keep flat. Even we increase the uh, dedicated cache way number for obs core. The right part here is some, uh, is some sample command for us to how to use this uh, CAT technology. In this command, uh, we demonstrate that uh, we allocate the first eight LC cache ways to the OVS core, the core one and two core four. So con conclusion is that uh, last level cache miss ratio will impact the obs throughput a lot. There are two ways to uh, avoid this situation. The first is keep the total NIC uh, buffer the uh, pack number within the processor's CDIO budget. The second is that uh, we, we can dedicate part of the last of cache to the obvious DPK core to avoid some noise neighbor impact. That's all for my topic. Thank you. Thank you. All right.